there I am, trousers around my ankles, lily white as the day I was born. I look up to him, I see Ove. The bastard's so angry, I can see the muscles in his neck start stretching. So I says to him, I says, Oh, well, Captain, let's be honest, this isn't the worst thing you've caught me doing. <laughs> I wound up with a lashing for my trouble, but it was worth it in the end. How was that in the end, then? Never treated again? Why? Just make sure to make less noise the next time around. Was that really what he was like? Hmm? Vane. Your old captain. Oh, Charles Vane. I. The man was a man as a cat. He was ugly as one to boot. Hmm. Me thinks that might have been common on his ship. <laughs> never heard you complain. In truth, I never trusted the man. He would sail us up and down those waters with no aim in sight. If we questioned him, he starved us. We tried to speak up, he beat us. It didn't take much for the men to turn on him, honestly. There must have been some reason why you stayed with him as long as he did. I mean, you was his first, after all. Yeah. There's a reason. Well? Fear. Ah! Captain Hornigold. Welcome to port. What can I get for you? Food and drink for my lads here. And none for the rest of us. Jack! How save ya! Who's this? Uh, this is Ben Hornigold. I've known him for years. Ben, that be Anne Bonnie, my quartermaster. Say again, lad. This one's here. It's standing right in front of you, Captain Hornigold. Why not speak to her directly? Jack. Well, you're trying to prove letting a woman run your damn ship. You've gone mad. Ben, it... Women ain't fit for our life. What'd you have to do to convince him, lass? I bet. A bribe. Did you have to suck his cock? Pardon, Captain? Ben, Anne here is one of the finest swordsmen I've ever met. Seems to be missing the man part. Oh, you and me both keep flapping them lips, mate. All right, all right, all right. Anne has been a blessing on my ship, truly. What she has between her legs makes no difference. Not all curses are so obvious, Jack. Ben, she deserves respect. You all right, love? Of course. It's not the first time. <laughs> Salty doesn't suit you, Dad. And what would he know of my salt? Plenty. He's not the best man I know, but he is one of the better ones. He'll come around. Well, perhaps I doubt your judgment from now on. So then, Mr. Jasper. Mr. Jasper. Sir. What's our take so far? Cargo is sufficient to get us through port, sir. Though I may say, the taking's been a bit bleak of late. Aye. And men at arms are where fortune was once found these days. Perhaps our monarch has grown offended of late. Hmm. 
Strange to think Plunder and his majesty's ships would draw such ire. In any case, what are your thoughts? Anything we should worry over? Perhaps. If whispers can be trusted. Whispers? There'd be rumors of a pardon. The king has made more of an effort to make away with free sailors in his wars. His wars? A piece of land you can put a flag in. The waters are owned by no man, let alone a bureaucracy. As a man, I'd be inclined to agree. As your counsel, I'd advise the captain to reconsider. Reconsider what? With winds come rough seas, sir. Would it be wiser to go against or with the tide? I've sailed the course of these British waters. I've taken orders as an honest man. The fruits of my labour weren't nothing but a few scraps of silver and no place to call home. Do you suggest I abandon a prosperity I forged in this new life? No, Cap. Merely that you be smart enough to navigate a new sea. Rumour has it you wouldn't be the only one nor the first. Jennings and Bellamy have already pledged loyalty to the Crown. These whispers be true, they were even allowed to keep their captaincy. Any others? A few. What of Teach? Well, it is he don't go by that name no more. Damn his name to hell for all I care. Has he taken it? No, sir. I'm afraid Captain Teach would rather die than take a king's pardon. Well then, perhaps I'll take the pardon just to spite the bastard. I wouldn't put it past you, sir. Cheers, Mr. Jasper. Captain. And that one? The pup? I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. James. And yours? No, it's not. Shall we try this again, love? What's your name? Mary. Mary Reed. Mary Reed. So then, Mary, what's your plan? My plan? Hmm. You don't really think you can fool that lot for much longer, do you? Christ. Now, were I in your boots, I would be desperate for a quick escape. And seeing as how you've not taken your eyes off me since the minute you walked in through that door. <laughs> One must assume. You mean to join our crew, don't you? Why? After seeing the way Hornigold thought of the likes of you, I figured it was my best bet. And are you willing to do as we say, when we say it, no questions asked? So long as I can live as I please? Aye. Fine. 
But know this. There will be no secrets on my ship. You join us, and you tell Jack what you got under them wraps. I, I will, but, but in my own time, please. Fine. You have one month. After that, I'll be the one telling tales. Mm -hmm.